the 17th of November 1860, the most celebrated leaders of the Mapuche nation, headed by Loncos Quilapan of Gulamapu and Alfucura of Puelmapu, together with the French citizen Aurélie Antoine de Tournaine, a naturalized Mapuche, established a constitutional and hereditary monarchy in Walmapu, the Mapuche territory. <laughs> Between 1862 and 1885, Chile and Argentina jointly waged a military campaign against a defenseless Mapuche nation in order to civilize and Christianize its people. Sarmiento declaraba. No debieron nuestros escritores insistir sobre la crueldad de los españoles para con los salvajes de América. Ahora como entonces, nuestros enemigos de raza, de color, de tendencia, de civilización. Quisiéramos apartar de toda cuestión social americana a los salvajes, por quienes sentimos sin poderlo remediar una invencible repugnancia. No son más que unos indios asquerosos a quienes habríamos hecho colgar y mandaríamos colgar ahora si reapareciesen en una guerra. Instigated by wealthy landowners and large corporations, the police systematically raid whole communities under the pretext of looking for weapons or Mapuche's leaders. Gracias, señor presidente. Distinguidos delegados. Thank you, Mr. President, and every one of your dear colleagues. 
The Mabushi people, indigenous Americans living in the territories nowadays occupied by Chilean and Argentinian states, has been under systematic repression by both of them that more and more threatens their existence. The inner colonialism started with the annexation of the Mabushi land to the Chilean territories 127 years ago and has resulted in continuous process by the Mapuche people that has escalated, especially in the last 20 years. Whilst Chile is celebrating the bicentenary of its independence from Spain, we feel that it is clearly demonstrated that the annexation was illegal because it violated a treaty officialized between the Mapuche nation and the Spanish crown. In fact, during 50 years of independence, Chile and Argentina ratified the already existing border, giving evidence to the existence of the Mapuche people. The demonstration of the Mapuche communities for recognition of their requests have been criminalized, despite the fact that they are entitled to process peacefully, as in every democratic regime. The Chilean government applies the anti-terrorist laws introduced by the military dictatorship to the activists fighting for the reinstatement of their territories. It imprisons them and denies the right to a proper trial, and moreover they are judged simultaneously by both civil and military jurisdiction. The abuse of police powers, the removal and arbitrary imprisonment of children as well as adults, the tortures have all been wildly reported and documented by national and international human rights organizations. The failure of the Chilean jurisdiction to implement a fair Indian reparations policy led 35 Mapuche political prisoners to conduct a hunger strike, which as of today has lasted for 71 days. Their health is rapidly deteriorating to the extent that some of them are often taken from jail and urgently moved to hospital. Une chose qu'il faut dire, c'est que j'ai noté ce que votre correspondant disait. One interesting thing is that the anti-terrorist law is applied by the government to these people. But they are not terrorists, they are autonomists. And if you remember, like me, who lived at the time of the French resistance, under the German occupation, we were called terrorists. I was a terrorist. That word is easily used when you want to get rid of people. ¿Usted quiere saber por qué es la lucha de nuestro pueblo mapuche? Pues ponga atención a esta rima y escuche. Pues cheque que... The Kingdom Today. Porto Mapuche is a group in order to facilitate the communication between the Kingdom and the Mapuche people. Continue to stand against oppression and the strategy of forced assimilation perpetrated by Chile and Argentina. The anti-terrorist law is applied by the government to these people. 
terrorists, they are not terrorists, they are autonomous.